Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Battle Station Pacific Empire Strikes Mission Pack. We're going to be looking at the Battle of the Solomon Sea, also known as the Second Naval Battle of Guadalcanal on the Japanese side. And today, it's been a while, I can say it's been a while since I, the last video I have posted, or last recorded, because I've been busy in, in real life and i also been sidetracked and... Things happen, and I apologize for that. But anyways, without further ado, we're gonna go to we're gonna continue from where we left off. So we can go into the battle of the Solomon Sea, break the en the Allied resistance. At least five ships must remain operational. Hidden. There's Allied supply dumps in the area. Oh, I know, I remember this one. All right. Um. Hmm. Trying to figure out like what ships would I want. Oh, I want to replace the Kuma class probably. But the Congo though. Let's actually do the Emerald Hipper. Uh, let's do the Emerald Hipper because um, we haven't actually seen a new model of the Emerald Hipper. So it's going to be nice to show you guys off with that. Ooh, yes. This cutscene. Commander, you are ordered to patrol around Guadalcanal. The Americans desperately want this island. We've stopped them before. <laughs> There's the German. <laughs> no matter. If they return, they'll be destroyed. Oh my god. Commander, we have to prepare ourselves. Intelligence is a stretch to their limits. We've got some blind spots on our map. Check those areas. I need to know if something is there. So Kirishim's gonna arrive in shortly. But holy crap, look at the Prince of Gein. Okay, I don't need the air, the freaking steam code thing. Right, but oh my god, look at this cool, s <laughs> um, look at this cool uh, model. I have to get it hands down to um with Umato and Runesva. Runesva actually pol it was the one who polished up this um skin so it looks a lot better with an proper animations and everything, and it looks so well done. I gotta get hands down to him. So shout out to you, Runesva. Um. And you know, you think and congrats on you for your monster move for making this wonderful model. This looks amazing. But without any further ado, we're basically trying to sail. Um, yeah. Another thing that I it's been because of my absence because my actual build that has the um Empire Strikes mission pack and Long Arms mission pack that was like messed. It's now broken. Like so, I have to reinstall a new, fresh installment of the mod. So we're here, and we're back. So, yeah, things have been a while. So, me from for me personally, I'm just been just been uh, work uh, just working at um I just been working for to get save some money for college tuition and that's honestly pretty much it. I never done any, but and plus with the I couldn't get uh, make a new uh, new installment of Empire Strikes Mission Pack until like I actually I had time to do so. But now I finally do, so I'm gonna try to get as much as I can throughout the uh, about um, throughout these missions. So yeah, um, I'm just been I just been all into a lot of places and everything. So right now I'm just probably like grouping up my uh, fleet. I love how do we have a stray destroyer iron army. Oh, it's she's probably gonna be she's probably gonna be the first one to spot them. So what do I gotta say? Um right now we're just sailing around. I'd rather use the the Prince of Gains over the Kumas because the Kumas were really mediocre. Like they real they they really stink. Honestly, like they don't work as good as like other cruisers, so I'd rather have something less like a Tony class or or the Admiral Hipper here. So we have the Lutzel and the Prince of Gein, so I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing these names correctly, but we'll figure it out. Um, in the future, I will be posting more Call of Duty videos and also World of Warships videos. I just haven't gotten around the time to do so, but. <laughs> Yeah, not to mention I do have a real life as well, even though I do like occasionally hang out with friends and stuff like that, but I have other 
things I would like to do besides just working on YouTube because I'm not even sure if YouTube is going to be my full-time career because based on how the rate's growing and everything I don't know I'm just not sure about that but we'll have to find out later on so wish we would have had a recon plane Kirishima should be arriving shortly so with her with her help we can easily dis destroy um everything else <laughs> but yeah that's honestly pretty much it going on right now so we haven't spawned anything Ah, there you are, Kirishima. Sir, Japanese warships ahead. The battleship Kirishima is with them. I think there's the yeah, there's the Allied to pull them too. Battleships Washington and South Dakota are coming to take over. All right, we're trying to meet up here. Actually, let's just make you stop and join up with the Kirishima. Because if we go any further, we could be screwed. I'm going to have the Ayanami to head down to the supply dumps over here. So we can get the golden medal since it's easy to get. It's obtainable. Um. Wait, why? Go full speed, dang it. You have 30 knots on you. Alright, you're an Ami. I know, I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting around here just like now I remember when I first saw this mission this was quite interesting I'm not sure because you guys just saw probably maybe Ailey Fuller's or Runesville's video on this specific mission um, I pr pretty much there's a unique thing in combat with a is that's gonna go down here which is very interesting that axe is brought to the table because it makes a lot of sense that it's historically accurate so I'm not gonna spoil anything to you guys but if you guys already saw those videos from the from those people then I think you guys know what I mean there we go we're joining up with uh, this task force so they're together I and Ami, you're just gonna sit here and just go for the, the supply depot and try not to die, please. Ugh. <sighs> There's nothing much I can really say here because, like, we're just trying to locate the battleships or warships ahead, but we don't see anything like i wonder if they're on our trail uh, they they probably they probably know where we are probably or maybe not i don't know i don't know what i'm doing right now is just i'm gonna make these guys join up they're going at the same speed so oh shoot we found something and they're going after this destroyer <laughs> Oh shoot. Leave the iron on me alone. <laughs> Why are you chasing after it? There we go. That's the thing, because we don't see them. That's the cool thing that Axis did here. We don't actually see them until we actually get really up close with them. So we're taking blind shots here. Destroyers. There we are. Enemy destroyers heading right towards us. You are orders, Commander. I order you, Commander, to sink them all. Oh, boy. We need to break their spirit. Enemy ship has been sighted. So these are all the... These are all the warships. 
Targeting computer. We'll save it for later. Ammunition ship. Go fire at the ammunition ship, Aninami. Oh god, it's all. Yeah, we have to be right up in front of. Uh, Nice. Ah, improved shells. We might need that. Yep. Don't. Oh god, no! Not not the torpedoes. Not the torpedoes. I don't like when you use torpedoes. Leave me alone, Gwen! No! Evasive maneuvers! No, no, that's not bad. That's bad. We're gonna get hit. We're gonna eat two. We're gonna eat two. Ugh. Okay, we're only eating two. Destroy the command station. Crap, do we have a... Now we gotta form up with the other forces. Oh shoot, he got torpedoes as well, Samidari. Alright. Oh god. Ah. Alright, let's form up the fleet again. Form a stronger task force. An impenetrable task force. Mwah, ah, ah, ah. Where did I put the cruiser? Oh, I see. Join up with them. Let's all go back in the end here. So we just took out like a. Um... Oh god, Ayanami! What the heck, man? You can't destroy a single command station. If you die and you don't do your duty, I'll be mad. Oh, God. Well, I ain't not survived, but at what cost? It's like if she sneezes, she's dead. Like if some, if like some coastal gun sneezes at it, at the destroyer, she will sink. <laughs> eh, might as well take out the PT hangar. So we take out, all, we took out all the destroyers. So we're probably gonna wait on. We're gonna have to figure out and find. Join forces. There we go. So now we have one big massive task force ready to take, like, basically take names and kick ass. Excuse my language there, folks. I'm gonna try to be a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So, right now, we're just. So, everybody's still alive, actually. But the question is where could be these uh, battleships? 
we have the Washington and the South Dakota. Both are pretty armored battleships, and we only have one. But we have the ship advantage because we have more ships. But yet, but then again, they're not. They don't. They might have not bring. They might not bring as much firepower as like a battleship would probably do. Like in history, they managed to take out this task force, or at least make them withdraw. I'm think. I think he's saying that. Unidentified heavily armored enemy vessel is ahead, Commander. Not the qu Oh, she's already firing. Back up. I tell go back up. So the AI technic, it, we can cheat the system here by letting AI fire for a little bit until we actually identify the battleship. <laughs> That's the one thing you can do, you can cheat the AI system. And by doing that, we can... <laughs> South Dakota is under enemy fire. Deck damage, but nothing more serious. It's a tough old tug. Okay. There we go. Have targeting computer and... We're going after him. Enemy ship has been there we go, he's been identified. Fire at South Dakota boys. You thought wrong, South Dakota. You messed with the wrong fleet. What are you firing at? Oh, the Hatsuki. Come on. Enemy battleship is on fire. Finisher. They got what they deserved. We would not allow them a foothold. Oh, they're right behind us! Washington's right behind us! Giant enemy ship coming for us. Knock it out. Oh shoot. We have a giant enemy ship in front of us. USS Washington and main forces here. We are in the vicinity and targeting enemy vessels. It's our turn. We took it. Oh god. Now we're gonna dish it out. Um, not really. When Good luck with that. Tomorrow, the seas around Guadalcanal will be free of Japanese warships. The job will be done. Uh, good luck with that. You're only one... <laughs> South Dakota's retreating. <laughs> you got, like, about 14 other warships to deal with. Oh. Sir, we have sighted an enemy ship. Sir, we are under attack. Fire at the Washington. Why are we letting the South Dakota... Oh, there goes the destroyer. They took one of my boys. I can't see because of all this friggin' smoke. Can I? I don't. I don't see the actual ship. Close in. Come on. Any minute now. Why are you guys in my way? Move. Move. You're gonna retreat or are you just gonna let us uh, shoot you? Come on. There we go, come on. 
Let's just sink a little bit. There we go. Let's see if the torpedoes can chase her away. Attack! Full speed! Oh, that's not gonna hit her. Oh, her engine stopped. Maybe you will. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's gone. She's eating it. Die! And she's out. Out like a light. Holy cow. Oh yeah, by the way, that's also another ship that's also been re retexturized, so... That is the, so that, I'm, the, the, uh, oh no, that wasn't retexturized. It was fine the way it was. <laughs> I'm not speaking correctly. That's why. Uh, so another easy mission out of the way. And gold medal. There we go. So, in the next video, we're going to be working on, we're going to be playing, uh, Operation Aga, which is the Battle of the Philippine Sea. So, with, and I'll see you guys in the next video, everybody. Bye-bye.